Hi everyone, glad you could make the call this morning. John, I thought you were going to be in Boston today. Yeah, I flew in yesterday. I thought I'd uh, join the call from my tablet. That's great. Let's get started. As you know, we've been experiencing too many unnecessary readmissions with our heart failure patients. I want to see what we can do about our discharge planning, medication management, and follow-up visits to decrease readmissions. Let's go over some basics and then get the extended team and stakeholders involved. Sounds good. I've been reviewing some of the information on the Get With the Guidelines website from the American Heart Association, and there are some great materials to support our effort. Are there any sample forms on the site? Yeah, there's sample forms, processes, workflows, all kinds of great material. Great. Let's start with discharge planning. Chris, can you pull up the website and we'll review some of the information? While Chris brings up the site, I just want to emphasize how important it is to get the families more involved in the discharge planning and transition to home. Perhaps we can bring the family members into the discharge process over live video. This would make it a lot easier to figure out if the plan will work and get the family engaged in the recovery process. I agree. We really need to support the patient as they transition and after they get back home so they stay connected, engaged, and comply with the plan. Chris, can you start video recording so we can share this session with those who could not make the meeting today? Sure. I'll send out the link to the others later today. Not only can you use your multi-point video as a way to facilitate the creation and development of your clinical programs, but you can also use it to connect with patients, one-on-one -on -one or for group sessions. Let's look at a discharge planning session. Mr. Smith, we are going to put together a discharge plan to make your transition back to your home more comfortable. And we've invited your primary care doctor, Dr. Edwards, and your daughter, Michelle, to join in the session today over video. And they'll be joining us in just a few minutes. Do you have any questions before we begin? Will they be able to see and hear us? Yes, it's just like watching television, except you can hear and see each other. Can I do this when I go home? See my daughter with video? Yes. We will be sending you home with a tablet that enables you to stay connected over video with your nurse so she can check in with you and Dr. Edwards for a follow-up within 48 hours and also your daughter so she can check in with you as needed. Hi Dr. Edwards, thank you for joining us today. This is Michelle and she is Mr. Smith's daughter and she's joining us from Boston. Morning Mr. Smith and thanks for joining us Michelle. Good morning, Mr. Smith. I just wanted to check on how you're doing and go over your medication. Later this week, Dr. Edwards will be seeing you over a video to make sure you're doing okay. Okay. Do you have your medicine handy? Yes, it's right here. Okay, can you take it out and hold it up to the camera on the tablet? Okay. Okay, turn it around so I can see the writing. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Welcome to the Eating for Life live video support session. I will kick off the session with some comments about how diet can help you stay well, and then Chris will review some new ways to support your cardiovascular health through healthy lifestyle choices. Finally, we will turn it over to you and have an interactive session to hear about how you and your peers are using healthier diets to get more energy and live happier lives. 